what's up? Today we're Passport Kings. We're gonna hang out in New Orleans and we're gonna check out Bourbon Street and see what all the fuss is about. In game. Travel is my passion, passion, passion. PassportKings.com. Your travel lifestyle will never be the same again. Subscribe and enable notifications so you can see all the other videos you may like. If you live in Atlanta, traveling to New Orleans is about a non-stop hour ride on any airline. What's funny is, if you don't take the time zones into consideration, you'll actually be landing in MSY around the same time you'll be leaving Atlanta. Out of all the cities that I've visited in the USA, New Orleans gives me more of a New York vibe than anywhere else. Don't get me wrong, it is country, but the people are very original, stuck in their ways, fast-paced, and don't take no sh**. Their accent is from the bayou, and it sounds just like how the hot boys used to sound in interviews. Now the biggest attraction besides the Superdome is in Bourbon Street. It is so popular that I recommend finding a hotel that's a few blocks away so you'll be able to sleep at night in peace. When I went to New Orleans a few years ago for my birthday, I stayed right above it all. And although it was fun to look out the window and people watch, I like to sleep in quietness. So this time I stayed at the Hyatt Regency about eight blocks away. This hotel is luxury lodging, offering cozy quarters and city views, plus entertainment, dining, and a rooftop pool. This place is beautiful, but it has weird elevators. Okay, y'all, I'm at the Hyatt Regency, but if y'all want to see the most confusing elevator ever made, this is it right here. Um, the elevators have letters, as you can see. But then in order for you to get an elevator to come to your floor, you have to dial your floor into the keypad because inside the elevator there are no keypads, which is something that was not broke, but they decided to fix it. All right, so you dial your number. Say you want to go to the fourth floor. This is telling me to go to the F elevator, so I have to go to the elevator with the letter F above it. I'm recording this video in September, and New Orleans is very hot. It was about 102 degrees on our final day there. I can also say that Nowlands, as many of them call it, is the drinking capital of the world, at least in my experiences. P.S. I've never been to Ireland yet. But liquor is sold in every gas station, corner store, liquor store, some food stores, and even CVS and Walgreens. And I'm not talking about a little sample selection. I'm talking about an entire liquor store worth of options. This is a drinker's town. You'll find light drinkers, social drinkers, over drinkers, and even drinkers who let alcohol take complete control of their lives. By the way, take a trolley to get the full Louisiana experience. You will see a homeless population that in my opinion rivals Los Angeles. But during the day you can check out the popular tourist attractions like Cafe Du Monde and sailing by the levers that famously fell during Hurricane Katrina. Everything is back to its original beauty, and I'm sure precautions were taken to make sure that a tragedy like that never happens again. If you're a halfway decent dude and you're not a weirdo, you will get lucky. A lot of the women are out there for their own rendition of the girls trip movie. The inhibitions are way down, but I would not expect anything long term from one of these encounters. But while in the main attraction street, which starts at Bourbon Street and Canal and ends where the crowd starts to thin out, there is a non-stop, crowded, jovial festival going on. Stores and restaurants are blasting music, and this party, once started, does not stop until the sun come up. You will meet and see all types of interesting people. Some will be drunk and very friendly, some will be drunk and hostile. A lot of women will be drunk and pulling their out and having beads tossed to them. And some will be drunk on the side of the road throwing up, which can sometimes make the immediate area very stink but everyone will be drunk. Most are having a good time with their friends and the vibes are cool. There are smiles on everyone's faces. There's a lot of police activity as well. Cops on horses are positioned at almost every intersection and throughout the crowd. They are very good at swooping down on situations that are starting to get out of hand. With the amount of drunk people swarming Bourbon Street at night, they can actually be a welcome sight but that's when they were on Bourbon Street, but I'd hate to run into them on other avenues throughout the city. All in all, I love the vibe. It is a way for just a few hours to take nothing seriously and forget the troubles of the everyday world. 
I was told multiple times by multiple people that you could pay the city officials and have an entire parade thrown in your name for the entire day. So if you have a special event coming up, wedding, anniversary, birthday, or big victory with your business, have a parade down Bourbon Street to celebrate it. Bourbon Street is legendary for parties, parades, and food. The restaurant we finally decided on was called Le Bayou, and it looked like a hole in the wall. It's about eight blocks down from the starting point on Canal Street, but it was right on the strip. When I tell you the food was amazing, I am not lying or exaggerating. I had a fried fish and shrimp combo, and my wife had a loaded red beans and rice combo. The food was so good that I actually ate the hush puppies. Hush puppies have always been the bane of my existence, followed by regular cornbread and squares. But the shrimp, fish, french fries, and even hush puppies were seasoned, hot on arrival, and fried to perfection. If you ever find yourself strolling down Bourbon Street in New Orleans and you are hungry, I highly recommend Le Bayou. Dress comfortably with shoes that will promote a lot of walking. Most streets are blocked off by barricades, and to take it all in, you're gonna have to walk up and down the street. There's a lot to see. Right up Canal Street is Harris Casino, for people that love to gamble. Having a casino this close is very convenient, and just like every other casino in the country, the odds are stacked very high against you. But what I have learned in the past about casinos is they prey on your greed. The thrill of winning once will raise your dopamine so high that you will gamble away all of your winnings in hopes of getting that rush of winning again and perhaps a larger amount. My trick to gamble is gamble only until I win. Then I'll calm down, take a deep breath, imagine to myself how much of a sucker I'm going to feel like if I walk out of that casino not only losing the amount of money that I just won, but spending even more money that could have been used to enjoy time in the city. I then cash out with my winning line still on that machine, and I walk out the door. Once the flashing lights of all the machines are far in the distance behind me, your dopamine levels will return to normal and you won't even know why you were so anxious to stay and gamble again. Plus, you'll have a pocket full of new money. The Uber ride back to my hotel was only about six bucks, which is not bad for peace of mind and quietness. If you have never been to New Orleans, I suggest you go now. There is a party every weekend. Sometimes bigger parties like Mardi Gras, and normally just a regular weekend party. As usual, stay safe and aware of your surroundings, but allow yourself to have a good time. Since that's what you're here and looking for, don't turn it down once it unfolds right in front of you. A few days later, we left. And on my way home, I stopped at a store in the airport named The Praline Connection. I think they're well known for pralines, which is like a sugary peanut snack. But I wanted to do something crazy, so I got an alligator po' boy. I thought it would taste like a new experience, but it just tasted like a regular old pork sausage. Landmarks is an alternative to my normal international travel videos, because despite of what may happen on a daily basis, the USA has a lot of great places to visit right in our backyard. Stop and take a look around and enjoy what you already have like a king of Passport King. Peace. Yo, did you get it in? I don't know. You tell me. You watch me. Oh shit.